People, 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 good morning, good morning, good morning. If this is the first time you're tuning into my show, welcome to the pate. You know who it is, Arsenio Buck. I'm reporting live from Bangkok. Now, normally I do a lot of personal development. Yes, trying to change the mind. But you know what? If you change the mind and you keep having problems with food, well, you're ultimately going to die anyways, sadly put. Now, what I need to talk to you guys about today is that a lot of my students ask me, hey, what should I eat for dinner? My diet, I want to lose weight. I want to do this. I want to do that. A lot of people have said, hey, instead of taking out, put more in, which is actually a really, really big thing to do. But if you're still putting too much sodium salt and too much glucose sugar into your system, you're still going to fall apart. So the craziest thing that happened over the winter break, well, winter, yeah, I guess uh, well, I guess it's winter, not really here. <laughs> but the craziest thing that happened, I got a real sad message from one of my wonderful students who uh, she had to come home. And it's crazy because she always talked about her father and her father was wonderful and he's funny and stuff. And next thing you know, he suddenly died. And I, I just felt so, I just couldn't, couldn't believe it. This is a 20, 21 year old girl who was studying overseas. And now the last time she saw her father was just, what, a year ago when she actually left. Well, about six months ago when she actually left. And I was like, how did he die? She was like, well, because of a heart attack. And I said, Jesus, man. I mean, it's crazy because how many people die of heart attacks? How many people have high blood pressure, heart disease, diabetes? All these causes have came. At the expense of eating Thai food. Now, a lot of a lot of you would actually say, well, it's probably the plastic too. Well, the plastic is probably, you know, because the thing is with Thailand, if you go out and buy some very, very warm soup, or let's just say hot soup, some Tom Yum Goong, okay, that's basically like spicy, uh, spicy soup, soup, soup with shrimp, some crazy stuff like that. Or if you end up buying something that is just basically hot food in general, and you put it into one of those plastic bags, just a plastic bag. Well, a lot of people in a lot of cases have shown that when plastic is actually warmed, it re- it like releases these sort of uh, inhibitors into the food. See, it's kind of like the people who burn plastic on that. I, I forgot what island it is, but it's in India, somewhere in the Pacific. No, not in the Pacific. God damn it. It's somewhere near like Sri Lanka. And they burn plastic and this plastic goes into the air. And you know what? If you literally smell and inhale plastic all day, like what's happening in China, they're on red alert right now because of all the smog. Guess what? You're going to get cancer ultimately. And guess what kind of cancer it's going to be? Lung cancer. So if you do that with food, you put it into a plastic bag, you take it home and you eat it. You're actually eating some stuff that's very, very dangerous for your system. So... One thing you can actually do is by changing it and just taking glass with you everywhere, a glass Tupperware. A lot of you would say, oh, no, I don't want to carry that. Well, guess what? We'll get cancer, goddammit. Uh, so listen, that when that story hit me and my students kept asking me, I'm like, okay, check this out, guys. Let's talk about dinner today. I don't want to talk about breakfast. I don't want to talk about all – yes, Thai food is delicious. I understand. Yes, okay. Yes, Tito. Yes, Thai food is good, okay? It's good. I love it. But you can't eat it all the time. Now, if you want to cook your own Thai food, you know what you're putting into your food, right? Just like America. You know America's suffering because if you go into the food aisle, all of it's frozen food. If you look at those damn – the the table in the back, the nutrient, you know, the, the table of content, whatever you want to call that BS – You would be amazed how much polyunsaturated, monosaturated, how much sodium, how many calories is stuffed into this garbage. And it's crazy because I got the insight just seven years ago when I was actually eating a hungry man. And this lady came to me at my dental office. She's like, you know what you're eating, right? I'm like, "Uh, no. She's like, boy, you better look at the back of that. I don't want you to end up in the hospital. And you know what? She was damn near right because I looked at the back and I said, oh, God damn. It had like 2,000 milligrams of sodium in one meal. Our daily intake should be between 1,800 and 2,200 so I could no longer eat salt for the rest of the day. Oh, my goodness. So listen, guys. What you can do, okay, because I told I – told, this is on my blog too and there's actually some stuff. I actually uh, – I would recommend you guys following Dr. Mark Hyman because he – 
is the best. He actually opened my mind up to a lot of different things. Now, I'm not going to be that ultimate healthy person. Oh, gluten-free, blah, 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 blah. We got to live too. Oh, yes, I got my cheat meals. But don't have a cheat meal twice a day for the whole week. That's like 14 times a damn week. And that's up to 56 times a month. That's crazy. So what you need to do is listen to me because I am your black Dr. Oz. Okay? All right. So first and foremost, let's talk about dinner today. Now, of course, my my student yesterday, I kept telling her I was going to do the blog, do the blog. I never did it. I said, you know what? I'm actually making a promise. I'm making a commitment, and I'm not even 100% behind it. This is bad. I'm not even abiding by my own rules. I'm going to make it right now. Let's do it. Boom! And I did it, and I'm doing it now. So on days that I have to do a lot of traveling, have to do a lot of teaching at companies and stuff like that, I need to prepare my meals in the morning, okay? Now, for instance... One of my basic household meals. Now, a lot of you, I know you're going to eat rice at least once uh, once a day, right? So for dinner, stay away from it. You know what I do? Get, get you some Bertoli, okay? The brand is Bertoli. Some extra virgin olive oil, okay? Buy you some of that, okay? A lot uh, Now, on the American Heart Association that I actually posted in the link in my blog, uh, they actually say, uh, you know, try switching out, what is it, what is it, coconut, coconut oil with vegetable oil. Listen, vegetable oil is terrible too. Olive oil, why? Good fat, okay? You're going to use that. You're going to fry. You're going to make you cut up some pieces of lean chicken. You could buy it in Tops. You could buy it in Tesco. You could buy it in uh, Big C in America. You could, If some people in America are listening to this, you could buy it in Walmart, okay? Just look at the back and just make sure there aren't any additives because, man, Americans like to do that crazy shit. I don't know why. Uh, in Australia, you could buy it at your Woolies, your Woolworths. They say they call it Woolies, okay? You got Coles out there. You got a goddamn butcher out there, too. So you could buy just household meat. That's that's the beauty about Australia. That's what I love so much because it's so damn healthy out there. Uh, but you got yourself a nice butcher just sitting there saying, hey, what would you like? It's kind of like that yeah, Thailand. You also got some excellent salmon out here and stuff too. So anyways, with that being said, get you some lean protein, okay? I got a lot of different seasoning. I don't use salt whatsoever. I never put salt into anything. So honestly, I probably uh, consume about a thousand milligrams a day max of salt because, God damn it, there's always salt in something. So I don't put any added salt in it. I got me some pepper, some cayenne pepper, some Tabasco. Tabasco has no sodium in it whatsoever or some kind of sauce. Just look at it and just make sure that you know what you're kind of putting into it. What's in the sauce in general Again, if you go to Topps and you go to the sauce area, I recommend Tabasco Chipotle. That has a nice little tangy taste to it. Uh, There's a lot of good stuff out there. There's cayenne. Cayenne there too, which is awesome. So just check out some of the sauces. You can put that on after it's done. So you fry it. You season it. Okay, you fry it. Okay, you can cut up some tomatoes. You could get some celery or some broccoli or some onions or some bell peppers, the green pepper, the red pepper. But don't put it in at the same time the chicken is put in okay you start stir frying it okay if you want to add a couple things you can also actually chop up a little garlic glove and let it fry for about one to two minutes before you put the chicken in just to give it another you know a taste to it but if you don't like garlic you can substitute that out okay you got yourself some chicken all right once it starts getting a little dark throw the vegetables in i just want the vegetables to just simmer just a little bit in the olive oil okay let it simmer a little bit so it doesn't lose all its nutrients. If you bake the hell out of them, it's all gone, and then blah, it's done. You're only going to put these vegetables in towards the end. After that, that's it. You're finished. You got yourself a nice little meal. What, that's about 20 to 30 grams of protein, depending on how much meat you're going to eat. You got yourself your vegetables, excellent for the digestive system. You're perfectly fine. Okay, if you want to get some Italian bread for some extra carbs, you can because, I mean, carbs ain't going to kill you. It's energy. Carbs are your friend. Okay, I don't care what these crazy – I'm not a bodybuilder. Okay, these bodybuilders, they wash their carbs intake. No, I'm not a bodybuilder. I don't care about carb intake. Now, there you go. After your meals, you can even have something prepared. Okay, I'll talk about breakfast and lunch next time. Now, if you guys want to get into the whole charred vegetable things, I'm going to have that on my next blog. 
Uh, you can actually, I actually baked with aluminum foil. I actually, what was it, back in Australia about six years ago. Jesus Christ, long ass time. I actually baked. Yes, I baked me some damn, I'm talking about some damn good uh, steak. And all I did, I just grabbed some olive oil, uh, olive oil I said olive, olive oil, season it well. And what I did, I put it in an aluminum foil. And I actually covered the entire steak and just left the opening just a little bit at the top. And I put it into the oven. And once it was done, I was like, man, we don't have any sauce. She's my, my friend at the time. She's like, don't worry. Here, just cut it. I ate it. And it was actually the second best steak I ever ate in my life. And it was something I cooked. The first best was at Hurricane Grill out there in uh, North Ride, Australia. I literally almost cried when I ate that. Oh, my goodness. It was like, like. 70 bucks to eat that crazy stuff. Anyways, best steak ever. Second best steak ever, I cooked it. That's a way that you could actually make the chicken too, okay? So, with that being said, I talked about the, veg the veggies, okay? You can add some taste to it. I'm going to talk about how to char them on the next vlog, okay? We need to talk about breakfast because your breakfast diet stinks. What this does is substitute something very terrible that you would normally eat at night. Check this out. If you eat... Kapow mu, which is stir-fried basil with pork, or if you eat, and you eat somtham, okay, you know how much sodium is within those two dishes? Between 2,000 milligrams to 2,500 milligrams of sodium, of salt, between those two dishes. And it's crazy because most Thai people, they would get like la mu, which is like, uh, Oh, God, I don't even know how to say it. Like it's liver, 9 o'clock. Like liver with, uh, what is it, liver with pork? I don't know, some crazy stuff like that. Lamu, tom yum kun, uh, somtam, all this spicy, crazy noodle, all this crazy stuff. Man, it's loaded with sodium. So by the time you're done eating a crazy dinner, man, you would have ingested up to 3,000 milligrams at least of sodium. Instead of going out, instead of paying that extra $40 like I talk about on my Tony Robbins uh, podcast and stuff like that, you can actually go straight into cooking your own thing or just having something ready, prepared in the morning. So when you come home, you just throw it in the thing, take a shower, it's done. There you go. No television, okay? You want to tell a vision, okay? No TV. I talk about that on my other podcast. Don't worry about that craziness. But that's it. That's an easy meal. Okay, I have a lot of different meals coming out there for you uh, in my next podcast because this is my health and wellness. This is in part of my personal development. This is going to be on my health and wellness part of my website coming up in about a week. So if you guys like it, man, share it, like it, talk to me. Twitter at Arsenio Buck Show, Facebook, the Arsenio Buck Show, the Arsenio Buck Show everywhere. Okay, you can find me anywhere on Google. Just put in handsome black man. Boom, picture of me comes up. If you guys got any questions, please let me know. And until then, stay tuned for the next podcast. With that being said, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. This is your host, Arsenio, over and out.